What's up everyone, I am Ahmed Khalifa and today is going to be another 3 minute review of a keyword research tool and a pretty nifty one, quite a quirky one. It's called Suval and I don't know what Suval means but that's what it's called so we can go with it. Basically this is going to be a very useful tool for you if you want to look at keyword ideas across different platforms and you can see already what the pl uh, platform will be. So. How does it work? Well basically you just type in there. It can act like an auto suggest or you can just pick a particular keyword. So let's for example, I'm going to start typing London. And as you can see, it automatically adjusts itself and put in kind of keyword ideas from the platform. And they all have different things to come up with. So for example, obviously, you know, in Amazon.com, you've got like guides and you've got like luggage and jackets called London. And then you go to Wikipedia, and obviously it's information based about the underground, about the stadium, about the airport, and you go to YouTube, you got, you know, the music of London Bridges falling down and London calling, there's so many different things. So it's very, very cool for you to get like different ideas from different platforms, and you don't have to see all these platforms at once, you can just kind of customize it. So if I want to remove, for example, Overstock, I just click on that and it just adjusts itself automatically. And if you want more ideas and more inspiration, then on the top right hand corner you can see demo there. So you just click on demo and it just starts giving you ideas like that and off it goes. And um, it's really cool. So um, it just automatically, you just watch it. Maybe along the way you get different ideas. So for example, Tiger, you've got all these questions of Tiger. So very, very cool. The minor flaw about this is that it's focused on the US market only. So you got the Amazon.com and you got the eBay.com and, and also the Google and Bing. They all get focused on the US market. So you can't customize it and pick a particular location. And there's no other language it seems available. It's just focused on English and in the US. So it's a bit of a flaw on that. On top of that, you will need to kind of use that data on another place if you want to get like search volume and cost per click and all these other metrics that are useful for you. So really this is the place for you to kind of just get like ideas, to generate ideas from different platforms, especially if you want to focus on one place. So say for example, you have a you have a store on Amazon Marketplace and you want to look at the keyword there and have the search combined with other places. Well then let's leave out the important thing. Let's leave out the Bing, leave out you know, YouTube, leave out answer.com or leave one and then you get to look at the one that matters to you as well. So it's very, very useful, very quirky, very, very cool to use. And uh, yeah, check it out. I think it, it might get something really cool for you if you give it a shot. And uh, despite the problem with the US market, I still think it's relevant for a lot of people. So I hope you find that useful. And you know, by the way, I've also listed a wide variety of different keyword research tools that you can use for free because there are plenty out there. So I'll put the link to that in the description down below and up above. And also, you know, I guess I'll keep on doing this. I wanna keep on helping you, but I want you to keep doing your thing because it just matters. So I hope you find this video useful. If you have, hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time.